These are the Bowers and Wilkins PX headphones. Do they sound as good as they look? Hello everyone, my name is EK and you are watching EK Tech. Today we will be taking a look at this beautiful pair of luxurious closed back headphones that I have been using for the past months. This video is divided into four different parts, these being aesthetics, sound quality, comfort and additional features. For many people, the main selling point for this pair of headphones is their incredibly classy design. But before we dive into the headphones themselves, let's take a quick look at the hard case they come in. As you can see, it is a pretty sturdy case with soft padding on the inside, made to protect the headphones from travel damage. Inside the box are also two cables. One is a USB to USB-C cable for charging and the other is an aux cable to connect it to a device in case Bluetooth is not an option. Finally, of course, there are some information booklets that everyone just throws out because, you know, the internet is a thing. Moving on to the headphones themselves, you can clearly see they have quite a standout design. The outside is a combination of very high-end feeling blue ballistic nylon and golden metal accents to further emphasize its incredibly luxurious look. The ear cups are made of reasonably soft leather that feels really durable and the inside of the cups is angled towards your ear canals for the best possible sound. More on that in a bit. On the back of the right ear cup are a USB-C port, an aux port, a power switch that is also used to power to the device, an on or off switch for noise cancelling, once again, more on that later, two volume buttons and a pause button. All in all, I feel as though the overall build quality and aesthetic of the headphones is the best on the market. They feel durable, look amazing and have a clear button layout that is neither confusing nor hard to use. Moving over to the point most interesting to most people looking to buy a pair of headphones, the sound quality. I do want to preface this by saying I do not consider myself to be an audiophile. I very much appreciate high-end sound, but don't claim to be an expert on the subject. Having said that, let's dive into it. Having previously used the HD 600s, which are open back headphones, it took me a couple of days to get used to listening to close back again. The thing I immediately noticed was a reduction in the soundstage. Everything sounded a little bit closer to my ears and less out in the open. Having said that, a strange thing happened when I tried to compare it to other close back headphones. To my huge surprise, these headphones have an incredible soundstage. I just had to compare them to other close back headphones as opposed to my previously mentioned HD 600s. So while they are no match for proper open back headphones, I highly recommend them if you are looking for close back headphones with a proper soundstage. Alright, let's move on to the sound profile of the PX. The bass is slightly emphasized which I thought would turn me off coming from a very natural sounding HD 600. The bass however being slightly louder than I was used to was actually very pleasant to listen to. It's got a very deep bass that I very much loved in songs that had a bit more of a tribal drum feel going on. To my pleasant surprise, the bass also did not at all drown out other parts in messier songs. Which is a huge problem I have with the more mainstream over the top boomy headphones most people are using these days. I'm looking at you Beats headphones. Moving over to the mids, I was blown away. The vocals come through very well and were a lot stronger than on my HD 600s. Whether I was listening to the reasonably low opening to the Sound of Silence, the disturbed version in my case, or some more high pitched vocals while listening to the likes of Iron Maiden and Jesus Priest, the vocals remained strong and in front while not being overpowering. The highs are clean and I have never felt any discomfort as the high pitched instruments started playing loudly. While I don't have anything negative to say about the highs, they are also the only part of the sound where I was not blown away. Overall, these are the best sounding headphones I have ever had the pleasure of using. One thing worth noting regarding the sound however is that you do need to properly angle and seal the cups to get the best possible sound. This is due to the angular drivers in the ear cups having to be in line with your ear canals. As we move over to comfort, we are moving into the only part of the headphone review where it's not all rainbows and sunshine. 
the leather ear caps can feel a bit rigid and stiff at first. While this becomes less of a problem as the weeks pass by, they have never felt even remotely as comfortable as my AC600s. The ear caps are a little bit on the small side. I do however have pretty big ears so this might be an issue that is more personal to me. While I am able to use them just fine, I do sometimes have to move the caps around a bit to get a proper fit. On the bottom of the headband is also a bit of leather padding to make it feel comfortable to your head. Given the fact that this leather padding is rather small and the headphones weigh quite a bit at 335 grams, some minor pressure may be felt on the top of your head when wearing them for longer periods of time. I have personally worn them for up to 5 hour sessions and as long as I was not actively focusing on it, there was no real discomfort to be had. Considering however other people have mentioned this, I felt the need to include it in my review. Finally, most likely due to weight, I noticed some pretty significant interference with the sound as I walked while wearing the headphones. With every step I took, the headphones moved ever so slightly causing a bit of a thump sound. Now maybe I walk very heavily or maybe this is a standard with a heavier set of headphones, but it is a worthy piece of criticism if you intend on using these while running or doing other high impact activities. Overall, while their comfort is most definitely not their selling point, I get used to the downsides rather quickly and feel as though the sound quality and design more than makes up for this. Okay, with all of these standard headphone features out of the way, let's talk about the additional features on the PX. First of all, the ear cups have a sensor in them that detects whether you are wearing them. Taking them off will automatically pause whatever you are listening to and putting them back on will resume playing within a second. You can adjust the detection sensitivity to match your preference. Personally, I have been fine with the medium setting as it did a great job detecting whether I had them on or off. The downside I encountered while using this feature is its sensitivity to sweat. After going for a long walk in hot weather, I took them off and noticed I kept playing. Pausing the music manually did not work as it automatically resumed playing since the sweat on the ear cups triggered the resume function. Fortunately, it is entirely possible to turn off this feature if you so desire. Given they work properly 90% of the time, I have kept it on to save battery life. Another feature on the PX is noise cancelling. There are three different modes, these being office, city and airplane. Each profile is meant to be used in a different environment with different levels of noise cancelling. I ended up using City for everything as I found the sound to be most pleasant. You can change the pass through of voices from as little as possible to natural to emphasized. The headphones do a good job getting rid of distracting office and city sounds while still being able to tune in to conversations your colleagues are having next to you. Having said that, the noise cancelling is pretty mediocre when it comes down to loudest sounds and I don't think this pair of headphones would do well isolating you from the noise of a loud party going on next door. Another thing worth considering is that activating the noise cancelling has a negative impact on the sound quality. While this is barely noticeable when listening to podcasts, I noticed a pretty significant drop in the clarity of the lows and highs when listening to music. Everything simply felt more crammed together and less clear. If you are looking for a pair of noise cancelling headphones to get rid of minor annoyances, then it's perfectly fine. If however you are looking for something with more aggressive noise cancelling, then this might not be the best one for you. I do however have to mention that on the most recent trip to Bulgaria I made, it worked perfectly fine in the plane. It was honestly very very comforting, very very nice and I didn't hear the engine sound pretty much at all. It was great. As the footage in the background has shown you, all of this is controlled through an app on your phone. While this does work fine once the app has started, I've had some minor annoyances waiting for the app to find my headphones, even though I was quite literally playing audio through it at that point in time. Given the fact that most of this review has been spent talking about the positives, you are right in assuming that I am recommending this pair of headphones. While the noise cancelling isn't perfect, the app is a bit annoying and the comfort is a weakness, I can't stop recommending it simply because of the ridiculously good sound quality paired with the jaw dropping design. Alright, so I have never recorded through the microphone of my phone. 
so I'm not quite sure how it sounds. It might sound horrible and tinny, but I do want to say that I had a lot of fun recording this stuff for you guys. I've never gone out and, you know, filmed outside of my room, and I've got to say this was a very fun experience, and I'm really looking forward to doing this a bit more. Uh, you know, maybe I'll get like a... Um, like a clip on mic or something and I could do some some more stuff like this maybe some some sort of like vloggy like stuff uh, I'm not sure where this is gonna make it into the, into the video maybe I'm just recording this for no apparent reason but I might put it at the end or something that's like a, a bit of a bonus so thank you very much for watching guys have a nice day and I'll see you around